Good morning, everybody. This is MB Frigate. Uh, it is April 28th, 2017, and just because I felt like it and because I want to give you guys an idea of who I am and um, a little bit more. Uh, this morning I had the last bit of my cereal, um, the chocolate marshmallow mateys, um, get the super sized bag, that can usually last me about a week, full week, um, and, uh, I still have a lot of milk left, and because of that, I, I, uh, sometimes will just pour, um, milk in a bowl and drink it. A spoon. That's how high, that's how tall I poured it with my spoon. These are huge bowls, so it, uh, I guess the spoon is drowning and sinking inside of the milk. So, uh, this is a little bit of my crazy side, I guess. Now, of course, I do spoon it first to get it to a, a, a much safer level, um, and then after that, I will drink it. So, here it goes. This is where it's at now. Uh, if you'll hopefully remember where it was. Uh, when I first poured it, it was way to the rim to the designs on the bowl on the edges of the bowl, um, and, and then some, a little bit past, uh, and now I, it's still a little, a little tall, but I feel a little bit safer to pick up the bowl and drink it instead of spooning it now, um, probably took about at least a minute to, to spoon it and everything, and I'm doing it pretty fast, I'm not just taking my time, um, because I'm just... I love the milk, so I'll uh, slurp it down now. Hi, so I have cleaned my room and it is like wonderful. I've never, oh, okay, that's kind of a lot. No, no, and yeah, no. I have never really seen it this clean before um, because today we have white glove cleaning and uh, not everybody likes that. Um, um, it's intimidating because you want to make a good impression. Um, but look at my room. It used to be so messy. They all like a whole bunch of things on my desk. Um, and then like just a messy closet. Uh, my shoes were all over the place. The garbage was a lot worse. And that dresser was just... The top was awful. That is sort of a mess, but I mean, I mean, I don't feel like I need to really do anything with that. Um, just my room is so much cleaner, and I love it. And I hope that I can, I hope I can pass the cleaning check, the white glove cleaning check, and um, it's just a wonderful opportunity to, to clean. Intimidating moments where you are required to clean, and uh, it just helps you to organize and declutter. So, um, I have officially uh, last night I left the band-aid on uh, of the my uh, uh, for the allergic reaction stuff on my stomach. I left the band-aid on, and when I woke up, it was really irritated, really itchy, uh, and it looked a little worse. The red spot looked a little worse than it had before um, since the last time you saw it, uh, which was probably the only time you saw it. So I uh, I threw that stuff away. Uh, no longer going to use it, but now I have to put on the antidote um, to counteract the and heal the allergic reaction. For the, the cleaning check, 
last night, my roommates, I'm ever so grateful for them, uh, for what they, what they did, uh, while I was over, um, I, I got, I came home before I met with Jeff and Marin at Chick-fil-A, and, um, so I, I came home and Brayden had cleaned the kitchen and was checking things off and even doing my, my responsibilities. I am ever so grateful for what he had done. So I am walking to, I'm going to walk to my bank because uh, it's payday today. So I am walking, uh, I'm going to walk to my bank and along this trail that I'm walking on, um, I'll show you in a little bit. Um, there's on the in the, there's a field next to this trail, and you can come across. You'll come across millions and millions of dandelions in the grass, and so um, they are all gone. But as a result, we have all of the seeds. Uh, can't tell. <laughs> on the camera, but there's like all of these, like, like, uh, Horton, here's a who clovers, only they've lost their color, walking right through them to create more, so then there's thousands, oh man, look at all of this, there's like hundreds and thousands of them all over the ground for like, not even a mile. Can you believe it? I am walking home from the bank and I don't know if you can see but it is snowing. It is not terribly cold like winter cold. I, I don't understand how it's snowing but it is. It's cold enough but when I walked outside for the first time today I thought my ears are getting a little bit nipped, kind of, but I just can't believe it. It's snowing. It is my 10 minute break right now, um, and good news, tonight I will be uh, videoing um, with Jennifer, finally. I've been trying the past couple days to get with her and uh, she finally was like yeah just anytime so we'll uh, we'll get to see her today and there's the radio I should turn that off or down oh I get the radio because I'm I'm not a lead for DI but I um, and for my area but I've had the radio before and managed a team before um, not to the extent of a good manager, but I, um, I have managed a team and I, uh, when I told this DI here about that, they, uh, were like, oh, okay, we'll, uh, then we'll, if you, if you, uh, are needed to have it, then you can have it. But, and then eventually I just kind of just take it, um. So tonight I have it because it's just me and I don't necessarily trust the other guy who works tonight. Uh, Snapdragon, I failed today because I was supposed to go to the um, Orem campus of MATC uh, to talk to a uh, a counselor there, um, but I totally forgot about it. I had reviewed it in my mind every day, every um, like every day up to this morning. Even last night, late last night, I thought, okay, I need to wake up early enough so I can go to the my meeting, and then I totally forgot. But here's the reason. Here's a good reason why I forgot was because I, um, just like I said this morning, we have our white glove cleaning checks, and I guess uh, that took, that kind of takes priority. 
it looks like we probably passed, I think, I'm not sure, um, on our white glove cleaning check, because when I got home from work, I looked on the counter, and it, uh, all of our uh, paperwork was off of the counter, so it looks like we might have succeeded, although, I guess the we wouldn't be me, but the we would be, um, thanks to my roommates. But on my part also, my room, it's clean, um, and I feel so good to, to come into a clean room, and I, it just feels so wonderful to be able to do that. So, last night, when I was talking to Marin and Jeff, um, I, I just really want, it's just really, it was, it was really interesting, um, and in, not in a sarcastic way, ever since I met Marin, she's always been interested in what my dreams are, my plans, my goals, and she always says, not, not in a sarcastic way, she says, keep on dreaming. With my vlogs, I'm I'm letting out my emotions, I'm letting out my stress, I'm letting out all these different things that are negative that I just always have stuffed in, and it feels great, um, and I, I don't mean this in a way of being super self-centered, but it feels great knowing that people are interested and watching because, I don't know, I, I, I do this because it puts myself out there, because um, making friends is really hard for me, like really hard for me, and doing this, I'm hoping that someone, that I, that I can meet someone, and we would be really good friends, are my only friends for right now, even though they're older than me, they're the only ones that, um, that, that is, that are around, that I can keep in close contact, that are pretty local, local, local enough, that, uh, I feel like they really care about me, and that they're just true friends, as true a friend as anyone could get, um, Way back when I first met them, um, they started inviting me to, to certain activities and whatever, and we'll get into that another another time. But they, uh, since then, are at that time I had been praying for friends and people that I can trust, and it looks like my prayers have been answered. That they're they are the people and the, the friends that, that, that have become my friends, and they are the definition of a true friend, I just, uh, I, I, to I said in, the, in my last video, I talked about them and how much they mean to me, um, and, uh, I don't need to do it again, but what I will say is that they mean a lot to me. Like, it means a lot to me, the fact that they are as interested in me as they are. So because of my uh, dreams um, and my plans and my hopes are that with these vlogs I can um, appropriately, I guess, basically promote my website and um, promote my my skills, my artistic skills, and hopefully, because um, I like to draw, I love to draw, and I love acting, and I love uh, I love theater, I love listening to music, I love video games, and I love doing photography um, when I can actually get around to it. Um, I haven't had any recent ones, but um, I I'm hoping that I can balance. Um, for what I can do right now, I'm hoping I can balance doing my vlogging 
editing the videos and also the time uh, to um, to draw. Hopefully, I and I'll I plan on putting those on um, on my website and hopefully. So my mom had actually um, came up with an idea. Uh, to earn me a little bit extra money because I really could use a little bit of extra money Because um, I'm just always in a tight pickle when it comes to my rent because my paycheck is Just barely above literally barely above how much my rent is so She came up with what if I did uh, if I made stationary cards, so I I, w I could take something I've taken a picture of and put that on a, a small stationary card and sell those, or draw simple things on a piece of paper and uh, very beautifully done, and make copies and put that on a stationary card and sell it. And she said it would be a really big hit amongst women, other uh, women, because. We're, especially in relief society, because we're constantly, they're constantly um, doing things for like birthdays and uh, doing cards, get, get, I hope you get better, get well, thank you cards, gratitude, you know, things like that, or welcome cards. So I'm hoping that maybe with these vlogs, I can promote these things. And, you know, I'll be honest with my big goal is I'd become a big hit. Who doesn't want to become a big hit, especially on YouTube? So, um, I'm really excited to uh, go forward with all my, my hopes and my plans and my dreams. Um, I hope this video, this time, was not so big, long, and boring and drawn out. If I have music in it, I hope that it worked out and that it made it much more enjoyable to watch because there is music on it. Um, so, uh, this is Matthew Burgraff Frigate, MB Frigate. Um, it's been a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. You know, on second thought, really, um, I'm just so happy that I have a clean room. It's awesome. I love coming in here, and it smells great. That sounds weird, but it smells great, and it's just so clean, and oh, I love a clean room. It's awesome. I wish I had learned this uh, better in my growing up f from my mom, who has constantly and tirelessly always encouraged us to keep a clean room so thank you mom and i promise i'm going to do a lot better from now on